Ever heard of maggots in your mouth? Yep, you heard that right. Today, I'm diving into the creepy, gross, and downright horrifying world of oral myosis. So buckle up, because this is going to get intense. Oral myosis is a rare parasitic infestation of the oral cavity by fly larvae, commonly known as maggots. These little critters typically come from blowflies, flesh flies, or bot flies. They lay eggs in your mouth, and when these eggs hatch, the larvae start feeding on your tissues. Yikes. Now let's talk about how it happens. Firstly, poor oral hygiene is a major culprit. Neglecting your dental care can create a perfect playground for flies. Pre-existing oral lesions, like open wounds or ulcers, also attract flies, making it easier for them to lay eggs. Individuals with a compromised immune system or debilitating conditions, like severe mental or physical disabilities, alcoholism, or being bedridden, are at a higher risk due to their inability to maintain proper oral hygiene. Constant mouth breathing, especially in those who are unconscious or incapacitated, can further increase the risk. So what does it look like when someone has oral myiasis? Patients usually experience pain, swelling, and an incredibly disturbing sensation of movement in the affected area. There's often significant swelling, redness, and inflammation. And let's not forget the foul odor necrotic tissue and maggots do not smell good. Ulceration and extensive tissue destruction can occur, leading to bone exposure in severe cases. And of course, the most definitive sign is the visible presence of maggots. Diagnosing oral myosis usually involves a simple clinical examination. Sometimes imaging like radiographs or CT scans might be used to see how deep the infestation goes. Now for the treatment. The primary method involves the careful manual removal of maggots using forceps. This can be quite time consuming, especially if the infestation is extensive. Irrigation with saline or antiseptic solutions helps cleanse the area. Topical larvicidal agents like chloroform, ether, or turpentine can immobilize and kill the larvae, making them easier to remove. Systemic antibiotics are often prescribed to prevent or treat secondary bacterial infections. Post-removal care involves managing the wounds, regular dressing changes, and debridement. In severe cases, supportive care, including pain management and addressing any underlying health issues is essential. Prevention is key. Good oral hygiene, regular dental checkups, and prompt treatment of oral wounds can significantly reduce the risk. Reducing fly populations in endemic areas through the use of insecticides and maintaining clean living conditions is also crucial. The prognosis for oral myosis is generally good if treated promptly and appropriately. However, delays in treatment or severe infestations can lead to significant tissue damage and complications, including systemic infections or even death in extreme cases. So remember folks, keep your oral hygiene in check, treat those wounds, and watch out for those flies. Thanks for tuning in, stay safe and stay healthy.